Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint a lovely floral design that creates a great greetings card perfect for any occasion. So grab your paints and let's get started. So yes, we're going to do a quick card design which is just a really sort of fail safe method. So I'm doing two um, lines just angling out and then a bit of a slightly curved bottom slightly curved top and then we're going to turn this into a jug of tulips so all we need to do is do that and then give ourselves a little handle on the side and we're going to paint in our tulips first and I've got some nice permanent rose up here and some opera rose because I love the brightness of cheerfulness of opera rose and a good greetings card is just nice and sort of cheerful isn't it so we've got a size six brush and you all love the tulip tutorial so I thought why not turn it into something even more useful so I'm just going to squish the brush down and then finish off the second side and look we've got ourselves a tulip and I love just a little bit of cadmium red in there as well And so because the tulips flower shape is the most sort of focal part of this, we're going to pop that in first before anything else. So this combination of these two pinks, it's rather lovely. And we'll have one just sort of squishing in down here. Now don't worry too much about the shape being too perfect at this point, because I have a nifty trick to make a really beautiful finish on these tulips. Okay, and then I'm gonna have one, well, let's have one in, in the middle here. We just want that sort of rough egg shape. A little bit of unpainted space is always great. And then have one sort of just drooping out the side here. So for this, for this card, the beauty is you can just use watercolor paper and fold it in half. And that creates a really nice card ready made for you. There we go. And I think that even though it looks a bit random, I think that's going to be a really nice composition for us because now I'm going to take my size four brush and I've got sap green down here. And whilst everything is still wet, we're, we're just gonna paint in because this is the beauty of it. I don't know how many of you have been rushing to go out to an event or a party or a birthday and you're like, oh my God, I haven't got a card. Well, if you've got a few minutes, then you have got a card. So what I'm gonna do is just very carefully paint in a few stems just like that and now with my larger brush again we're going to put in some lovely tulip leaves and we aren't worrying about any kind of bleed or blend we don't mind in fact we encourage it just as long as you don't linger too long with your brush because those bleeds are just on the right side and then we can just use a slightly smaller brush to get a little bit more detail in there but we're now going to leave those and we're going to turn our attentions to the jug itself so I love this cobalt blue because it reminds me of Cornish ware down in Cornwall in the UK is a very sort of iconic blue and white or blue and sort of cream colored stripe on ceramics and in fact I'm going to use my slightly smaller brush just for a little bit more control but I'm going to angle the brush down and I'm just going to paint in stripes like that and how rough they can be is absolutely fine because the beauty of watercolour is often in 
its roughness. And then a few little extra stripes on there. Now we're just going to let that dry for a minute and I promise you're still going to make your party with 10 minutes to go. We just need to let it dry just a fraction and then we'll do a little finish. So we've just given it a minute to dry. We've still got some slightly wet bits but that's absolutely fine. What I'm going to do now is just take this tutorial to the next level for tulips because we can do something pretty cool. So I'm just mixing up a more concentrated version of the pinky red tones we've been using and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bit of depth in the middle of the tulip by just doing that and it gives you all of a sudden this sense that there is a sort of inside to that tulip. So let me do it again here. So just by squishing in a little bit of colour suddenly we've got a lovely deeper darker tulip center but you can do it the opposite way and what I mean by that is by coming up the outside and look we've got a sort of lighter center and a darker outside which is very cool so I'm just going to do this on some of them And all of a sudden your tulips have gone from being lovely and loose but very sort of abstract to being really fantastic and a little bit more detailed. And then the last thing we'll do is I'm just going to get a little bit of French ultramarine and I'm going to use it just to create the tiniest bit of shadow down the side of our jug. And to be honest, just wetting the brush and picking up some of that colour of the cobalt blue deep will do the trick too. And there you have a really lovely all occasions quick greetings card. So if I just move my paints away, you'll see my bit of watercolour paper. So I used a piece that was um, uh, 28 centimeters long so I've got 14 centimeters here which means I can just fold it down the middle and there is my lovely greetings card but if you've got an envelope you need in mind then just measure the size of the envelope and make your folded size just a little bit smaller than that and there is your super quick greetings card Thanks so much for watching and I hope your cards bring a smile to everyone's face. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables me to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you're getting on. And of course, if you subscribe, then you'll never miss another video. Okay, until next time, bye.